in this lecture i will try to explain the connection between statistics and thermodynamics for that consider two systems which are separately in equilibrium systems are a1 and a2 for a1 number of particles is n1 volume is v1 and energy is e1 it is in equilibrium a2 is also in equilibrium with number of particles n2 volume v2 and energy e2 let the microstates number of microstates of system 1 be omega 1 which is a function of n1 v1 and e1 and number of microstates of second system will be n2 a function of n2 v2 and e2 how this microstates number of microstates depends on the number volume and energy that i discussed in the last lecture so this number of microstates will in general be a function of number of particles volume and energy of the system so these are the equilibrium number of microstates of these two systems okay now what i will do is i will remove this impervious separation and i will introduce a conducting one okay instead of that non conducting wall i will introduce a conducting wall that means energy can exchange between these two system energy can exchange between these two system while the volume of the two system remains constant the number of particles in the two systems will remain constant only energy can vary okay by inserting a conducting wall i made a transfer of energy possible but then the total energy of the system is still a constant okay total energy maarunnilla it is the sum of e1 and e2 because the outer walls all the outer walls are still uh, non conducting okay idonnum energy kadathi viduna walls alla okay these are all adiabatic walls aage ee center la ulla separation maatramana nammal energy exchange possible aakittullu individual system tinte energy maaru but total energy will be constant where e0 is the energy of combined system i will call that system as a not which is actually this combination a1 and a2 this is the combined system this is the combined system now what is the number of microstates of the combined system what is the number of microstates of the combined system is it omega 1 plus omega 2 or is it omega 1 omega 2 which one will be correct we will check that suppose there are uh, four uh, microstates possible in the first system suppose the number of microstates is 4 for the first system and uh, let the number of microstates allowed for the second system is 3 for the first system there are four microstates for second system there are three microstates then for the combined system how many microstates are possible for the combined system how many microstates are possible when the system 1 takes this microstate 1 system 2 can take this one or this one or this one so the combined system can be any one of these microstates can be one one state or it can be one two state it can be one three state onnamathe part system onnu nalla microstate il irikkum indu naalu microstate possible aanu idinu moonanna idu onnu il irikkunna samayath ibudthe one or two or three a vara adin anusarichu combined system thinu moonanna kittu similarly onnamathe idu onnamathe system second microstate occupy aina samayath second e system thinu onnilo rendilo moonilo irikkam okay like that there will be 12 there will be 12 possible microstates for the combined system that means if the number of microstates of first system is omega 1 and number of microstates of second system is omega 2 then the right answer is omega 1 omega 2 so the number of microstates of combined system will be the product of omega 1 which is a function of e1 and omega 2 which is a function of e i can write this omega 0 as omega 1 e1 into omega 2 e2 but i can write omega 
e1 into omega 2 which is actually e2 is actually e0 minus e1 e2 i can write it as e0 minus e1 but e0 is a constant the total energy is a constant that means the right hand side whole right hand side is a function of e1 so i can write omega 0 is a function of e1 alone omega 0 combined system in the total microstates in the e1 in answer to matram marana very quantity on and then keep around because e e0 constant right hand side lola ega variable e1 अब ये पन्ना मतलब सिस्टर था अदनी रंडा मतलब सिस्टर थे ना एनर्जी के टाइम में एक्सप्रेसिव में ना वर्क करने लगा ये वन ने ये टू ने टाइम में ले लिया यहाँ पर ना कार्य में वाला ही ना तो ये दंग के लिए एक एनर्जी के टाइम में ले देंगे उसके टोटल नंबर ऑफ माइक्रोस्टेट्स वेरी जाएगा बट तो � energy transfer will take place okay when the system will achieve a new state of equilibrium when this combined system will achieve a new state of equilibrium eppadana idu a new state of equilibrium achieve answer is the new state of equilibrium is the one for which this omega zero is maximum this omega zero this total number of microstates of the combined system maximum avuna energy E1, E1, Adil Ayrikim system Vindum equilibrium achieve here. Why? It is so that the equilibrium state is the one with maximum number of microstates. Maximum number of microstates allah the anna equilibrium state in the parayanala parayanala. Okay? Okay. Adh, Amalku. Yen last class ili explain jayadir in the example anna. Nali particle distinguishable particle nali single particle energies levels and the system one is with energy zero the other one is with energy epsilon then with a two epsilon with a three epsilon four possible single particle energy levels and four particles if we make a constraint total energy should be six epsilon total energy should be six epsilon that defines a macro state okay total number of particles four Total energy is 6 epsilon. This defines a macro state. This defines a macro state. Then we can see that there are five possible distributions. There are five possible distributions. The first one is the first one is 0, 2, 2, 0. What is this distribution? You have four energy levels, one with energy 0, the other with the epsilon, the other with the 2 epsilon, the other with the 3 epsilon. Two particles, say A and B, is in this state with epsilon energy, and C and D, the other two particles, is in this state with energy 2 epsilon. Total energy will be 2 epsilon plus 2 epsilon plus epsilon plus epsilon. Total energy will be 6 epsilon. Total number of particles is 4. So, for this particular macro state, one of the distribution is this one. In this distribution itself, we have different possibilities. We have different possibilities. I will write one more possibility. If you have four, you can say that A and C lies in this state and B and D lie in this state. This will also uh, produce a total number n equal to four and total energy six epsilon. Now, this is where you micro state and distribution develop. So, here distribution is the number of R and number. इंटरेस्टिंग दिले इतने इंटरेस्टिंग है इतना कार्य है निगल एक ग्राफ फ्लोट किया ना मेरे लिए डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन अलांग दी एक्स एक्सिस नंबर ऑफ माइक्रोस्टेट्स अलांग दी वाई एक्सिस तो वो अन्ना मतलब डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन आर अन्ना डंडा मतलब इन आर अन्ना मोना मतलब इन इरवत्ती ना आले नालीनो अंजने माला ना बच्चे तो फॉर 
This is the case with the four particle. If you increase the particle to say eight, इधर ने व्यत्यास ही नहीं कोड़े, ओके? For example, इधर एक तक आठ तक आनंद नहीं मिले, मैं तो कैलकुलेटर तो आकर नहीं कर, मैं रफ्ली पढ़ रही हूँ ना, जब हम मैक्सिमम इधर ना वेरा आयरन प्लिक को बढ़ते तो रूप जुबद मुकद्दर रेंज ले लें। अब आ रूप पर्टिकुलर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मैक्सिमम होना है न that is the number of particles in the order of that is the energy level, single particle energy levels in the end of it, enormously large area. The number of particles in the container like gas molecules in the container, the number of particles will be of the order of 10 to the power 23 per centimeter cube. So, in this case, the number of particles in the container, effectively, that graph will be derived delta. That Dirac delta peak will be uh, the maximum or most probable distribution. Okay, here a graph in a width in a bagaram, the distribution at the maximum, maximum or another, just a number infinite. I can buy line a compare in a bacula distribution like a number can neglect here. Bacula distribution like a number can neglect here. Above is the situation in a in the lecture last year, it is equal a priori probability. What is equal a priori probability? Equal a priori probability. Equal a priori probability says that all the microstates have equal, are equally probable when there is no constraint. First of all, constraints, restrictions on the angle, all the microstates are equally probable. Then, you know, so, let's take the example of this distribution. This is the distribution of R. So, that is the probability of R by 44. Total number of microstates is 44. One by 44 is 1 by 44. Probability is equal. Total probability is 1 by 1. Each one should have a probability of 1 by 44. So, this distribution has a probability of 6 by 44. The other one has a 46 by 44 probability. The other one has 24 by 44 probability. So if when the number n tends to infinity, this most probable distribution, this most probable distribution has the maximum number of microstates. So this is the maximum uh, probable one. Idinata Arikim system a tum kudal samyangana la sadhika. This system is equal probability. If you have a second in the answer, you can divide it by 1 to 44 seconds. If you have 1 to 44 seconds, you can divide it by 1 to 44 seconds. If you have all the equal probable, if you have any value, you can divide it by infinity. If you have any value, you can divide it by infinity. If you have any value, you can divide it by infinity. This is the most probable state. That is why we have the system of the maximum number of microstates of the maximum number of microstates of the distribution. So, if all the numbers are negligibly small, we have to identify the system of the macrostate. Actually, macrostate is not the same. If you do this, you can do the macrostate. There are 44 microstates. But, Ninggal deh, enam kurun deh nanti sirih. Most probable distribution tu barai model tu nene, allah enam, baki allah nene kamera yang boleh enormously large ana. So baki allah, segala ninggal tu nene kelak tiya. Sistem tu nene macrostate tu nene barai nanti most probable distribution ana nene identify ya. Sistem itu orang kurun deh, samai am spendi ina tu mahu dilai diri. Ha, orang state dilai diri. Aduh, orang tu nene, ah state nene, sistem tu nene equilibrium state tu nene kita boleh kaya. So equilibrium state of a particular thermodynamic system is the one for which the number of microstates is a maximum. अपन निंगलो एक सिस्टम तेंडे इक्विलिब्रियम स्टेट में ब्रेक की दरें जाने इक्विलिब्रियम इल्ला दाखिल करें जाने सिस्टम इक्विलिब्रियम लिखे पोगना समय तो अंडे नंबर ऑफ माइक्रोस्टेट्स में आरी कोण डेरी किया फाइनली इट विल रीच ए स्टेट ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम फॉर विच द नंबर ऑफ माइक्रोस equilibrium omega 0 should be maximum that 
that is നമ്മൾ ഇപ്പോൾ ഇവിടെ മാറ്റാൻ പറ്റുന്ന പാരാമീറ്റർ അല്ലെ ഒമേഗ സീറോ ഇസ് എ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ഇ വൺ ആണെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിരുന്നു സോ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഡെറിവേറ്റീവ് ഓക്കെ ഡി ഒമേഗ സീറോ ബൈ ഡി ഇ വൺ ഷുഡ് ബി സീറോ അറ്റ് ഇക്കലിബ്രി അറ്റ് ഇക്കലിബ്രി ലെറ്റ് ഇ വൺ ഈക്വൽ ടു ഇ വൺ ബാർ ബി ദ ഇക്കലിബ്രിയം എനർജി നിങ്ങൾ എനർജി മാറി മാറി ഇക്വിലിബ്രിയത്തിലുള്ള എനർജിനെ നിങ്ങൾ ഇ വൺ ബാർ എന്ന് റെപ്രസെന്റ് ചെയ്യുകയാണെങ്കിൽ ഇ വൺ ബാർ എന്ന് റെപ്രസെന്റ് ചെയ്യുകയാണെങ്കിൽ ഐ ക്യാൻ സേ ദാറ്റ് അറ്റ് ഇ വൺ ഈക്വൽ ടു ഇ വൺ ബാർ അറ്റ് ഇ വൺ ഈക്വൽ ടു ഇ വൺ ബാർ ഡി ഒമേഗ സീറോ ബൈ ഡി ഇ വൺ വിൽ ബി സീറോ ഓക്കെ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ കണ്ടീഷൻ ഫോർ നൗ വി വിൽ ഡിറൈവ് ഫർദർ d by d e1 of what is omega 0 it is actually omega 1 omega 2 product of uh, uh, microstates of individual systems then i can apply product rule i can write it as d omega 1 by d e1 multiplied with omega 2 plus d omega 2 by d e1 multiplied with omega 1. ഓക്കെ പക്ഷെ എനിക്ക് വിത്ത് റെസ്പെക്ട് ടു ഇ വൺ ഡെറിവേറ്റീവും ഒമേഗ ടു ഇസ് എ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ഇ ടു ആൺ അപ്പൊ എനിക്ക് ഡി ഒമേഗ ടു ബൈ ഡി ഇ വണ്ണിനെ എനിക്ക് ഇങ്ങനെ റെപ്രസെന്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും ചെയിൻ റൂൾ വെച്ചിട്ട് ഡി ഒമേഗ ടു ബൈ ഡി ഇ ടു ഇൻ ടു ഡി ഇ ടു ബൈ ഡി ഇ വൺ ഇങ്ങനെ എഴുതാൻ പറ്റും ഡി ഇ ടു ബൈ ഡി ഇ വൺ പക്ഷെ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഡി ഇ ടു ബൈ ഡി ഇ വൺ നമുക്ക് ഇ വൺ പ്ലസ് ഇ ടു കോൺസ്റ്റന്റ് ആണ് എന്നറിയാം e1 plus e2 constant ana mare that means de1 plus de2 is equal to zero that means de1 is equal to minus de2 that means de2 by de1 is minus 1 therefore i can write the earlier equation as this should be zero nalana equilibrium condition so i can write it as d omega 1 by d e1 into omega 2 minus d omega 2 by d e2 into omega 1 equal to 0 okay d omega 2 by d e1 in varu d omega 2 by d e2 into minus 1 nadutha adondana center il minus vannathu equal to 0 this i can write it as d omega 1 by d e1 into omega 2 equal to d omega 2 by d e2 into omega 1 omega 1 omega 2 side exchange cheythu kenja it is 1 by omega 1 d omega 1 by d e 1 equal to 1 by omega 2 d omega 2 by d e 2 this i can write it as d by d log omega 1 by d e 1 equal to d by d e 2 of log omega 2 endha kaaranam what is d by dx of log 2x or the log f f is a function of f x and y d by dx of log f of x it is nothing but 1 by f into dx by dx right 1 by f into dx in the derivative okay adu 1 ayathond 1 by f on the അപ്പൊ ഇവിടെ ലോഗ് ഒമേഗ വൺ ആണ് ആൻഡ് ഒമേഗ വൺ ഈസ് എ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ഇ വൺ ഓക്കെ ഒമേഗ വൺ ഈസ് എ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ഓ ദിസ് ഈസ് റോങ് ആക്ച്വലി ദിസ് ഈസ് ഡി എഫ് ബൈ ഡി എക്സ് ലോഗ് എഫ് ഓഫ് എക്സിന്റെ ഡെറിവേറ്റീവ് വൺ ബൈ എഫ് ഇൻറ്റു എഫിന്റെ ഡെറിവേറ്റീവ് വിത്ത് റെസ്പെക്ട് ടു എക്സ് എടുക്കും ഓക്കെ ഡി എഫ് ബൈ ഡി എക്സ് സോ ഇൻ എ സിമിലർ മാനർ ഐ ക്യാൻ റൈറ്റ് ഡി ബൈ ഡി ഇ വൺ ഓഫ് ലോഗ് ഒമേ വൺ ഒമേഗ വൺ ആസ് വൺ ബൈ ഒമേഗ വൺ ഇൻറ്റു ഡി ഒമേഗ വൺ ബൈ ഡി ഇ so left hand side uh, it is for a state system 1 right hand side it is for the system 2 these two are equal means i can write do log omega by do e is a constant at equilibrium at equilibrium that is do by do e of log omega അറ്റ് ഇക്വിലിബ്രിയം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ നമ്മൾ ഇവിടെ എന്നും ഇ ഒന്നും മാറ്റുന്നില്ല എനർജിയുടെ വാല്യൂ ഇ ബാർ ആവും ഇത് ഒരു കോൺസ്റ്റന്റ് ആയിരിക്കണം ലെറ്റ് മീ കോൾ ദാറ്റ് കോൺസ്റ്റന്റ് ആസ് ബീറ്റ 
let this equation be equation 1. This is an equation 1 on the way. Okay, e constant beta over. So that is equilibrium condition is equilibrium condition is beta 1 equal to beta 2. Equilibrium condition and there is an equal beta 1 equal to beta 2. Nandha. Beta 1 equal to beta 2 and the other one 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 equal to beta 2 and from thermodynamics, we have a relation. We are looking for a connection between statistics and thermodynamics. So, we already have an equation in thermodynamics. DE is equal to, what is DE in thermodynamics? What is DE? DE is EDS minus PDV plus mu DN. Okay, this is equation number 2. DE is equal to TDS minus PDV plus mu DN. Where T is temperature, P is pressure, mu is chemical potential, S is entropy, V is volume, N is number of particles. P is the energy of the system. Now, N and V fixed, other material, implies DE equal to TDS. So, this implies dou S by dou E. Do S by do E, keeping N and V fixed, N and V fixed is equal to 1 by T, is equal to 1 by T, equation number 3. You can compare equation 1 and 3, you can compare equation 1 and 3. There is an intimate relation between the thermodynamic quantity entropy S and the statistical quantity number of microstates omega. Okay, this is the from the two equations, one is dou S by dou E at N V is equal to 1 by T. The other one is dou log omega divided by dou E again at N V is equal to beta. So, there is an intimate relation between this S and omega. Uh, we can write this as some delta S divided by delta log omega. From these two, I can write it as delta S by delta log omega is equal to 1 by beta t. Divide these two. Okay. And this is a constant. This is a constant for any physical system. This correspondence was first established by Boltzmann. Okay. So he believed that since the relationship between thermodynamic approach and the statistical approach seems to be a fundamental in character. This constant should be also a fundamental constant and that is nothing but Boltzmann constant K. So, K is Boltzmann constant. This is a universal constant and its value is 1.38 into 10 to the power of minus 23 joules per Kelvin. Joules per Kelvin. Okay. Planck uh, wrote the explicit formula S is equal to K log omega. Actually, if you integrate this equation, there will be some additive constant, there will be some integration constant, but Max Planck says that the additive constant will be zero. And he explicitly wrote the relation S is equal to K log omega, where S is the entropy of the system and omega is the number of microstates of the system. So, this is the relation between statistics and the thermodynamics. This is a thermodynamic quantity, omega is a statistical quantity, the number of microstates. Okay. Now, if omega is equal to 1, that means the absolute value of entropy S is equal to 0. K log 1, log 1 is 0. So, if omega is equal to 1, that means S is equal to 0. Omega is equal to 1 means only one microstate, only one microstate for the particular macrostate. That is that macrostate is a unique configuration. That is a unique configuration. No other choice is 
existing for the particular macroscope. Adalulla system, adalulla particles ni, aku ada satu choice ni, baru ada choice tu ni lah. Aku ada satu choice macam tu orang ni, aku system ni, aku ada satu state ni, di kian macam tu ni betul. So that is a highly ordered system. That means entropy is, okay, a highly ordered system. Adilu pura order ni, aku expect ni, ni lah, aku state ni lu, system ni lah, sami tu aku state ni lu macam tu. As omega increases, that means the possible choices for system particles will increase. System particles ni, kau ni kalau jauh milik kita ni, ada ni aku urut chair orang lu ingat. Ni kalau kaga orang lu option aku chair ni ikhyan tu. Tapi sebenarnya aku jauh milik nur chair ni ada ni. Ni kalau kau urut sama kau ni kau ni kau urut chair ni ikhyan tu. Ni kalau sama kau ni kau urut chair ni ikhyan tu. So the possibility is higher. That means disorder will also be higher. Ni kalau ke आह सिस्टर तले डिसऑर्डर ने एक मेशर आये थे नंबर ऑफ माइक्रोस्टेट्स ने कनेक्ट किया है। के आस ओमेगा इंक्रीसेस आस ओमेगा इंक्रीसेस एस इंक्रीसेस एंड डिसऑर्डर ऑफ द सिस्टम। ये तरह वन तो पॉसिबिलिटी आस सिस्टर तले एक्सिस्ट ही नो आज ने निश्चित जा सिस्टम डिसऑर्डर हो। इफ देर एक्सिस्ट ओनली � Whenever the value of omega increases, that is a measure of disorder of the system. So, I can write this beta as beta is equal to 1 by kt. Because here k is equal to 1 by beta t. So, beta I can write it as 1 by kt. Now, we will establish uh, further uh, relations between thermodynamics and uh, statistics. For that, we consider the system, the two systems. We already considered two systems and we made the wall conducting in the last session. Now, we will make the wall also movable. Okay? This wall is now movable also. Conducting as well as movable walls. Then what happens is, now there can be change in energy there can be a change in volume also. Okay. If wall is movable, on the the energy transfer is not the system is volume changing. Okay. But the total volume is constant. Now, there are two parameters which are constant. Total energy of the system constant and the total volume of the system. Total volume is V1 plus V2. It is constant. For this combined system, I will denote this combined system as A0, A0. For that, the volume, total volume is constant, total energy is constant. Using the concept of total energy constant, we already wrote an a relation, do of log omega 1 divided by do E1 at a constant N, N1, V1 and E1 equal to E1 bar equilibrium value of energy is equal to dou by dou E2 of log omega 2 and that is for values N2, V2 and E2 is equal to E2 bar. This relation we established in the last session. Now we will get a similar relation if we take omega as a function of omega as a function of v1 and v2 okay v2 i can write it as v0 minus v1 so this omega of combined system will be a function of omega of this combined system will be a function of v1 alone v1 alone omega 2 can be written as V0 minus V1. For the equilibrium, for the equilibrium, we already mentioned that number of microstates should be maximum. For the equilibrium, I can say that dou omega of 0 divided by dou V1 is equal to 0. This will yield me a relation like dou of log omega 1 divided by dou V1 at N1, V1, sorry, N1, E1 and V1 is equal to V1 bar, equilibrium volume and dou 
by do v2 of log omega 2 at n2 e2 v2 is equal to v2 bar okay so using this concept changing volume will change the number of microstates and it will continue up to the equilibrium state and the equilibrium state is the one for which the number of microstates is a maximum so using thus that relation we can establish an equality of these two and i can call this constant as constant value as eta that is i can write eta is equal to do by do v of log omega at constant n e and v equal to v bar okay this quantity we this quantity eta we obtained using the concept the equilibrium will achieve by changing the volume and it equilibrium means the volume at which the number of microstates is microstates is maximum we already have from the energy from the values of variation of energy we already have do by do e of log omega at a constant n v and e equal to e bar as beta so we now have two values eta and beta for equilibrium of the system for equilibrium of the combined system ipo nammal rendu system undayirunnu aa rendu systemathine ningal separately equilibrium ayirunnu adinu shesham avarude edakkulla wall conducting aaki movable aaki conducting aaki movable aaki aa samayathu ini oru pudhiya equilibrium state ethunna eppadi irikkum for equilibrium of combined system we have beta 1 is equal to beta 2 and eta 1 is equal to eta 2 eta 1 is equal to eta 2 okay now suppose the wall is the wall is permeable to particles also permeable to particles also that is energy can exchange between the two system volume can vary between the two system it is movable now it is permeable to the particles also the particles from first system can move to the second our particles from second system can move to the first one okay the wall is permeable to particles then for the combined system for the combined system i can write i can write omega of 0 as a function of n1 as a function of n1 it is omega 1 n1 into omega 2 it is n0 minus n1 total number of particles is fixed n0 is n1 plus n2 it is fixed it is constant okay so this omega is a function of n1 alone by varying n1 you can make omega value vary and the equilibrium state is the one for which the number of microstates omega 0 is a maximum okay and we can write do omega not divided by do n1 is equal to 0 at equilibrium this condition will give me a relation similar to uh, the previous two cases volatility and sensitivity energy can sensitivity we have already ezhuthi kaniyu and this will give me a relation like do by do n1 of log omega 1 at v1 e1 and n1 is equal to n1 bar is equal to do by do n2 of log omega 2 at v2 e2 n2 is equal to n2 bar so this equality is should also be satisfied for the equilibrium that is i can introduce a new parameter theta theta which i will denote it as do by do n of log omega at the constant v e and n equal to n bar this is theta okay then for complete equilibrium of system for complete equilibrium of the system complete equilibrium of system i will call that equilibrium as thermodynamic equilibrium the first one when you can vary only the energy the equilibrium attained is called the thermal equilibrium when you can change the volume also the equilibrium achieved is called the mechanical equilibrium 
when you can change the number of particles the equilibrium achieved is called a chemical equilibrium when all the three equilibriums are achieved system can be said to be in thermodynamic equilibrium and for the complete equilibrium we can write beta 1 is equal to beta 2 beta 1 is equal to beta 2 theta 1 is equal to beta 2 theta 1 is equal to beta 2 this is the condition for complete equilibrium of the system complete equilibrium of the system we already established that beta 1 equal to beta 2 implies 1 by kt1 is equal to 1 by kt2 that is t1 equal to t2 so when you have a system which is separated by a conducting wall there will be transfer of energy between the system until the temperature of the two system is constant that is the our idea from thermodynamics okay from thermodynamics we know that if we made a thermal contact between two systems heat energy will flow from one system to the another until the temperatures are equal in a microscopic point of view or a statistical point of view that condition is beta 1 equal to beta 2 and that is equivalent to saying that t1 equal to t2 so what is the corresponding equivalency for eta 1 equal to eta 2 and theta 1 equal to theta 2. Beta 1 equal to beta 2 that means temperature is equal. That is the correspondence of the parameters. But we will do that. We will do that. We will do that. We will do that. From thermodynamics, we will do that. Temperature is equal to thermodynamics relations. From thermodynamics, we already wrote an equation like d is equal to tds minus pdv uh, plus mu dn idile randamathe nammal volume case eduthappalana eta kittiyathu appo adinu venditte nammal keep n and e fixed v is variable volume mathram vary ikkunnu nu varudhu angane n um e um fix cheythu kazhinjale i can write it as tds minus pdv equal to 0 or dou s by dou v at a constant n e as as p by t p by t okay but we already have s equal to k log omega s equal to k log omega so i can write it as dou log omega divided by dou v at a constant n e as p by k t p by k t dou log omega by dou v at a constant n e adine aanu nammal endu vilichathu dou log omega by dou e dou v at a constant n e adine aanu nammal eta ennu vilichathu so eta is nothing but eta is nothing but p by k t p by k t okay Similarly, similarly, if if uh, number of particles can vary, E and V fixed. If E and V fixed, N vary. Then I can write it as. Then again, it is a N matram vary, you know, the random fixed. But TDS plus mu dN, TDS plus mu dN equal to zero or dou s by dou n is equal to minus mu by t okay at constant e v so i can say that uh, using the relation s equal to k log omega i can write dou by dou n of log omega at a constant e v is nothing but minus mu by k t k will come to this side minus mu by k t so that implies theta is nothing but minus mu by k. Theta is nothing but minus mu by k. So for thermodynamic equilibrium between two states, thermodynamic equilibrium between two systems, between two systems, beta 1 equal to beta 2 implies, implies t1 equal to t2. This is by using uh, this is, I will say this is a thermal equilibrium, okay, this is thermal equilibrium for thermal equilibrium, 
this is the condition when the walls are movable also then thermal and mechanical equilibrium then thermal and mechanical equilibrium can be achieved thermal and mechanical equilibrium can be achieved by the equality of two parameters beta 1 equal to beta 2 and eta 1 is equal to eta 2 that is t1 is equal to t2 also p1 equal to p2 what is eta eta is actually p by kt when k and t are constant eta 1 equal to eta 2 means p1 equal to p2 so the system will attain a mechanical equilibrium and the pressure of both sides are equal or the wall between the systems will move until the pressure on both sides are equal rendu side la pressure equal avunna varana wall move yo adu varana volume change sambhavikku now for thermal mechanical and chemical equilibrium chemical equilibrium ningal number of particles um kuda maatraan enana particles ne ingane angottu angottu flow cheyyan pakshe particles ingane infinite aayittu move cheyidondirikkilla or particular state la adu stop cheyyum and that is called chemical equilibrium then uh, you have beta 1 equal to beta 2 eta 1 equal to eta 2 theta 1 equal to theta 2 that is t1 equal to t2 p1 equal to p2 and mu1 equal to mu this is the condition for a complete equilibrium when you have two systems okay they are separately in equilibrium they we made a contact between them okay adin edakke or contact undunnu uh, both energy uh, energy can vary number of particles can vary volume can vary okay when all these three parameters can vary finally a state of equilibrium will be achieved when these three are equal beta eta theta and that is equivalent in saying that p p and mu are equal this is thermodynamic version and uh, this is a statistical version so now we are ready with the tools for deriving thermodynamics from a statistical point of view we have the equation s is equal to k log omega where omega is a function of n v and e it is the number of microstates of a particular system s is the entropy k is the boltzmann constant this is the connecting link between statistical parameter omega and the thermodynamics parameter s we also have these equations do s by do e at the constant n and v is equal to 1 by t and do s by do v at the constant n e as p by t do s by do n at a constant v e as minus mu by t all these relations we already uh, derived so once we have the relation s equal to k log omega with omega already calculated you can find s entropy as a function of n v and e using that we can find this intensive parameters temperature pressure and chemical potential using this relation okay by taking partial derivative with respect to e we can find temperature inverse of temperature by taking the partial derivative of s with respect to v keeping n and e fixed we can find p by t with finding the partial derivative of s with respect to n keeping volume and energy constant you can find minus mu by t so you can find this intensive parameters temperature pressure and chemical potential okay you can find this terms sometimes uh, the given quantity may be the total energy of the system and it is given in terms of say n v and s okay you can invert this relation s is a function of n v and e you can invert this relation in principle so you can write e as a function of n v and s 
we already have this relation T D E equal to T D S minus P D V plus mu D N. T D S minus P D V plus mu D N. So I can write dou E by dou E by dou V at a constant S and N. Suppose you have uh, take the partial derivative with respect to V keeping S and N constant then this TDS becomes 0, mu DN becomes 0. You can see that it is nothing but minus P. Also dou E by dou S keeping V and N constant this DV is 0, DN is 0. Dou E by dou S will give you T. Also dou E by dou N at a constant S V that will give you at constant S V means D S is 0, D V is 0. So dou E by dou N will give you the value of mu. Okay. So you can use this relation also <coughs> for finding this pressure, temperature and chemical potential. For finding the rest of the thermodynamics, it is straightforward. Uh, I will give you a easy way to memorize the equations. Let uh, the variables, thermodynamic variables be pressure P, volume V, temperature T and entropy S. Okay? And uh, the thermodynamic functions, thermodynamic functions be internal energy U, okay, instead of E, I will use the letter U, then Helmholtz free energy F, then enthalpy H and Gibbs free energy G. Of course, these are the thermodynamic functions, these are the thermodynamic variables, then we can use this diagram, we can use this diagram, this something like So you have a diagram like this and here in this corner you can write G, here you can write P, here you can write H, here you can write S, here you can write U, this corner, here you can write V, this corner you can write F, here you can write now, how can you uh, memorize these things? G, you can write it as good. This is how studied under very fine teachers. Okay. So, Using this trick, you can memorize these quantities, but uh, remember to start from this uh, this point. Okay, otherwise this will uh, then draw. So this is the this G is Gibbs free energy, P is pressure, H is enthalpy, S is entropy, U is internal energy, V is volume, F is Helmholtz free energy, T is temperature. Now, what is the significance of this diagram? What is the significance of this diagram? Look at this functions, I can write for example, this U internal energy, U, it is a function of, it is a function of the variables which are nearer to it. Okay, U in the other left, left V on the top S on So, I can write it as a function of V and S or I can write DU as, DU as, this is a function of V and S means I can write dv and ds, dv and ds. With respect to variation in v, there will be some change in u. With respect to variation in s, there will be some change in u. Now, since all these uh, functions are having the dimension of energy, having the dimension of energy, along with the v, you have to write p. Along with the s, you have to write t, temperature. Because p dv has the dimension of energy, TDS has the dimension of energy. So, PDV, TDS. Now, 
we have to put sign okay whether it is plus or minus for that look at this figure again in the case of u s is towards top okay towards top and towards right you have to put a positive sign towards down or towards left you have to put negative sign since s is towards top you have to put a plus sign for tds and for pdv since v is towards left you have to put a negative sign so du is minus pdv plus tds in a similar manner you can write dh dh what is dh it is a function of s and p because nearer to h we have s and p so dh you can write it as ds and dp ds and dp along with s you the only possibility is t along with p the only possibility is v tds vdp what about the sign both are positive because p is towards top s is towards right so both are positive now what about dg what about dg dg is dp then dt p and t dp dt along with p we have v along with t we have s for uh, t it is downward so you have to put a negative sign p is toward right it is positive now the last one is df helmholtz free energy it is uh, nothing but uh, there will be a dv and dt so sdt pdv both are negative because this is towards left this is towards down so this is the variation of various thermodynamic functions u h g and f then what is the relation of helmholtz free energy f how can you find f given find f given u internal energy thannu kaniyale engane f kandupidikka engane f kandupidikka appo ningal nokkanda adana take u ningalku u aanu thannittulla u is a function of v and s you are going to find you are going to find f f is a function of f is a function of v and t ningal edha nokkanda ivide aanu nokkanda f inde thotta eduthu kadakkuna variables aara nokka v and t aanu u inde eduthu kadakkuna variables aara nokka v u s aanu so f of v t kaanna given u of v s cheyanda ethra ullu f is equal to f is equal to u eduthu avade u eduthu then edu variable aanu maaridu nokka v ivide undu v ivide undu okay v common aanu pakshe t maarite endu vannu variable t transformed to s t transformed to s so write a ts here write a ts here so f is equal to u Uh, then ts now you have to put a sign in between engena ana sign idu annu choichale go to v uh, sorry u nammal evade thodangiyathu u il ana thodangiyu u il povva u il s engena ana nikkunnu nokka ivada maariya variable aarana s aanu okay s maarite t aavanu appo u il s engena ana nikkunnu nokka top il aanu so it is positive so you have to put a negative sign you have to put a negative sign okay then f is equal to u minus ts f is equal to u minus ts namukku thanu seri aanu verify kiya df is equal to du minus tds minus sdt nu eduga so df is equal to what is du du already ariya du is du is minus pdv minus pdv plus sdt minus tds minus sdt then this sdt and sdt will cancel sdt and sdt will cancel this term and this term will cancel so we will get df as minus pdv minus tds so it is the same as here df so this is the idea f is equal to u minus ts f is equal to u minus ts then what is g given given f find g ennannu yerikku given f find g f is a function of arakana f is a function of v and t f is a function of v and t v 
g is a function of g is a function of p and t and then neighborhood lo alkare nokka p and t then we can write g is equal to g is equal to f ivide edu variable aanu maara nikkunathu t randilu undu fixed aanu maariya variables aara nokka aaraanu maariya variables v changed to p then you have to write a pv here you have to write a pv here now the remaining thing is to put a sign to put a sign for that go to v go to v this volume in f in helmholtz free energy v is towards downward okay v downward aanu nikkunathu adaanu ivada change cheynathu adu kondu nere opposite sign undu plus undu okay v enganeyano v ida sign downward nikkuna samayathu v negative aayittu aanu nikkunathu and opposite sign vaana ivada ida എന്നാൽ മാത്രമാണ് നിങ്ങൾ ഡി ജി എഴുതുന്ന സമയത്ത് ഡി എഫിൽ ഡി എഫിൽ ഡി എഫിൽ പി ഡി വി എന്നുള്ള ടൈം നെഗറ്റീവ് ആയിട്ട് നിൽക്കും ഈ പി ഡി വി ആയിട്ട് അതിന് ക്യാൻസൽ ചെയ്ത് പോകാൻ പറ്റും ഡി എഫ് നോക്കിയാൽ അറിയാം ഡി എഫ് എന്താണ് മൈനസ് പി ഡി വി മൈനസ് ഇ ഡി എസ് ആണ് പ്ലസ് ഇവിടെ ഒരു പി ഡി വി ഉണ്ട് പ്ലസ് വി ഡി പി ഉണ്ട് ഇതിൽ പി ഡി വി ക്യാൻസൽ ആയി പോകും ഈ പി ഡി വി ക്യാൻസൽ ആയി പോയത് എന്തുകൊണ്ടാ പ്ലസ് ഇട്ടുകൊണ്ടാണ് ഇവിടെ ഇവിടെ നിങ്ങൾ മൈനസ് ഇട്ടിരുന്നുവെങ്കിൽ ഇവിടെ നിങ്ങൾ മൈനസ് ഇട്ടിരുന്നുവെങ്കിൽ പി ഡി വി ക്യാൻസൽ ആയി പോവില്ല നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഡി ജി കറക്റ്റ് ആയിട്ട് കിട്ടുകയും ഇല്ല അപ്പോൾ ഇവിടെ നമ്മൾ പ്ലസോ മൈനസോ എന്ന് ഇടുന്നത് ഏത് വേരിയബിൾ ആണോ മാറുന്നത് ആ വേരിയബിൾ ഓൾറെഡി ഉള്ള ഫംഗ്ഷനിൽ എങ്ങനെയാണ് നിൽക്കുന്നത് നോക്കുക അത് പോസിറ്റീവ് ആയിട്ടാണ് നിൽക്കുന്നതെങ്കിൽ നെഗറ്റീവ് സൈൻ ഇടുക അത് നെഗറ്റീവ് ആയിട്ടാണ് നിൽക്കുന്നതെങ്കിൽ പോസിറ്റീവ് സൈൻ ഇടുക സോ വി ഗോട്ട് ആൻ എക്സ്പ്രഷൻ ഫോർ ജി ഗിഫ്റ്റ് ഫ്രീ എനർജി സിമിലർലി വി ക്യാൻ ഫൈൻഡ് എച്ച് if you have a knowledge of u you can find any thermodynamic potentials okay using this idea you can find any thermodynamic potentials or thermodynamic functions okay what is h in terms of f h and f h is here okay h is here f is here h is a function of s and p f is a function of t and v both the variables are changed ningalku vendathu h aanu ningal start cheynathu f il ninnana f il ulla variables t um v um aanu h il ulla variables p u s um aanu rendum maari ennalladhu kondu you have to write pv as well as ts now the rest is to put a sign in f both v and t is negative so you have to put a positive sign for that this is the relation for h in terms of helmholtz free energy or f plus pv what is f plus pv it is uh, gibbs free energy so you can write it as h is equal to g plus ts h is equal to g plus ts so i hope all the functions are written uh, rest of them you can write in a similar manner in a similar manner so once you have uh, enthalpy and uh, internal energy you can write uh, specific heat capacity at constant volume which is t do s by do t at constant n and v and that is nothing but do u by do t do u by do t at constant n where u is the energy okay earlier we used the symbol e now for this purpose for writing this in an easier manner i used u okay instead of t both are same what is a uh, specific heat at constant pressure specific heat at constant pressure is t do s by do t at constant n and p n and p and that is nothing but do by do t of e plus p v at the constant n and p and it is do h by do t these are all thermodynamic relations do h by do t at where h is enthalpy So, do u by do t at a constant n and v is specific heat at a constant volume. Do h by do t at a constant n and p is the specific heat at a constant pressure. So, we got the entire thermodynamics. So, the procedure is very simple. For a particular system, for a particular system, calculate the value of number of microstates. Number of microstates. That is omega. Once you have the value of omega, find entropy. find entropy then you will get entropy as a function of n v and e invert the relation 
to find the e as a function of nvs nvs then it is straightforward to find uh, this pressure temperature and chemical potential okay if inversion is not uh, possible then you can write these three equation in order to find the temperature pressure and uh, chemical potential once we have temperature pressure and chemical potential then you can find these relations these relations energy is already obtained temperature pressure then you can find this set of relations to find the other thermodynamic functions cvc etc okay thank you